Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract two six-digit numbers and we're going to do this using the vertical format. So let's have a look at our first example. What is 563,478 minus 254,865. So imagine you've got this question in a test at school or at home and you've been asked to do this using the vertical format. So the first step is to rewrite the question in nice neat columns. So let's do that over here. 563,470 8 minus 254,865. Okay, the key to this is to write it in nice, neat columns. Okay, we're not going to bother labeling the columns because you know what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do the subtraction, starting with the column on the right hand side first. So we've got 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Next, we've got the tens. We've got 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Now we're going to do the hundreds. We've got 4 minus 8. Now 4 minus 8, because 4 is smaller than 8, we cannot do this. We're going to take 1 from the column to its left the thousands column. So let's cross out the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2 and the 1 we have taken from here we're going to add it to the hundreds column. So the hundreds column now reads 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8 is 6. Now we're going to do the thousands column. We've got 2 minus 4. Now again, 2 is smaller than 4, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the column on its left. The 6, cross out the 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move across to the thousands column. The thousands column now reads 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4. The answer is 8. Okay, on to the ten thousands. We've got 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. And lastly, we have the hundred thousands. We've got 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. And that is our answer. Let's write it down. We've got 308,613. and we get a nice big tick. So it's following on from the same principles we've used before. Make sure you write them in nice neat columns and then do the subtraction one column at a time starting from the right hand side first. Okay, let's work through one more example. This time we have 948,301 subtract 730 9,564. Now again, the first step is to rewrite the question in nice, neat columns. So let's do that over here. We've got 948,301. Subtract 739,564. So we've done the first step, which is to rewrite the question in nice, neat columns. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. Now, as always, we start on the right-hand side first. We've got 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4. Now, because 1 is smaller than 4, we cannot do this. So let's have a look at the column to its left, the tens column. Now, we should take 1 from here. However, it's already zero, so we cannot take anything from here yet. What we're going to do is, 
we're going to move to the column on its left, which is the hundreds column. So we're going to take one from the hundreds, move it to the tens, take one from the tens, and then move it to the units. So let's, it's a two-step process. Cross out the three, three minus one is two, and the one we have taken from here, we're gonna move it to the tens. So the tens column is now 10. So we're going to now cross out the 10. 10 minus one is nine. And the one we have taken from here, we're gonna to move to the units. The units column now reads 11 minus four. 11 minus four is seven. Moving on to the tens, we've got nine minus six. Okay, nine minus six, the answer is three. Moving on to the hundreds, we've got two minus five, two minus five. Now because two is smaller than five, what we're going to do is we're going to take one from the column to its left. Cross out the eight, eight minus one is seven, and the one we have taken, let's move it across. So the hundreds column now reads 12 minus five. 12 minus five is seven. Okay, now we're going to do the thousands, it's seven minus nine. Seven minus nine, now again, seven is smaller than nine, therefore we're going to take one from the digit to its left. Let's cross out the four. Four minus one is three, and the one we have taken, let's move it across. So the thousands column now reads 17 minus nine. 17 minus nine is eight. On to the ten thousands, we've got three minus three. Well, that's a nice easy one, that's zero. And lastly, we have the hundred thousands, we've got nine minus seven. Nine minus seven is two. And that's it. The answer is 208,737. And for that, we get a nice big tick. So throughout this process, and in several tutorials, we've gradually built up the size of the numbers we've been working with. The same principles apply, okay? And once you've developed a bit of practice on this, you'll become a complete master at this, okay? So that is how we do subtraction of two six-digit numbers using the vertical format.